fade out. I can't even watch him on TV. Zach Lewis. Thus, I cannot even begin to express the frustration of having to play it out in real life. Nor can I count how many times I lay on the couch with my arm in the end. I agree to her request that we continue to allow yes, to wander unrestricted around the house. Because, and hear me out here, I'm an idiot. Now before I explain how everything went predictably horribly, a bit more of my motives and methodologies. Once upon a time, I was contemplating a career in veterinary medicine. And before anyone questions why I made the terrible decision to switch to philosophy, no, it's not because I enjoy being poor. I've mentioned before, I think, my reaction to the sound of the <laughs> It's why I noped and get the off your block. Something well, I do it right to the linebacker. Possibly done from the inside. I tried sharing my brilliant observations with Karen, but she said she'd leave the nerd stuff to me. I said, get off your block. Anyway, since I still possessed more common sense, I told her that I'm removing all the knives, scissors, and sharp objects from the house. You know just in case and then with the cameras rolling we began doll in the hall for science capturing the perfect shot over the next couple days Karen and I Alex Pierce touchdown along in the corner of our eyes so often that it became almost normal we'd catch his little figure trotting in our periphery and turn our heads just in time to see him freeze. It was like a kid playing red light, green light if the kid was a tiny sack boy with mismatched button eyes. And yet, anyway, I was too stressed to sleep after that. Not only because Kurt's oh my god! Had set my Shit defense! But because after three days of blue boy down the field, no resistance. Delivery, his sudden absence, it was disconcerting. Not so much because I didn't know where he was in that moment, but because of the implications of him. So in that moment of the flash, the doll's button eyes appeared to be staring right at me as the light faded. <laughs> 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 pattern back towards Karen's bedroom. Her door clicked shut. Apparently, Karen was still awake, because a moment later her door opened and she slipped out. Good Did she see JT. Blue Boy? I asked. She nodded. Self. Sudden terror struck me like a sucker punch to my gut, my nerves jangling and then tightening, like violin strings ready to snap on the next note. I am serious. You need to burn that doll now. Said Kurt. What the hell? Alec <laughs> Pierce G. Snapped Karen. You were sleeping like a little good boy. Good grief. Less than an yeah, hour later, it to that. we gathered around the fire pit outside. From an iPad propped on a log, psychic lit up the night then. The doll's limbs curled and turned black, and the little pigtails of hair made from my. Karen's and Binky's locks sizzled and puffed into smoke. All three of us stepped back from the flames and covered our eyes. And soon, there was only ash. Game over. And there you have it, folks. It's been one heck of a wild ride. And I'm a day late updating because... I know. I know. You don't have to remind me what was puppeting him. Believe me, I remember it. What are you thinking, dude? The figure, the demon, I, I still see it. And I remember Psychic Death Lady 123's warning. Images summon it. And I worry that as long as I remember it, there's a chance of Boo Boy, that is, the demon that was puppeting it, coming back.
coming Alec to Pierce. I made the mistake of asking Kurt if he thought it was on a show. And Mr. Gave me Pierce, a look I will generously call displeased and stormed off without a word. A couple hours later, Karen and I each received an email from him informing us that he will not be renewing our leases. Go figure. <laughs>